Hi everybody, now when we have an update on DAISY, it can be a bit confusing as to knowing whether you've got the latest 121 files on your server or not. So I thought I would do another video just explaining how it works and how you get those latest files on your server. And we're going to look at console first and then we're going to look at PC as well. Now the first thing I have to say is I'm recording and publishing this video probably before 121 goes out. So I'm recording this on the 11th of May. Um, I've got a feeling they're going to announce when it's going out this afternoon, but but we'll see. So the first thing I say is just because you're watching this video doesn't mean 121's out. <laughs> it might be out, but I don't know. Okay, so how do you know whether you've got the files or not? Well, the first thing to, to watch out for is that on social media, Daisy themselves will they'll put posts out saying, right, we're going to be pushing the update to servers today. All right, and they'll say, right, at 1 o'clock we're going to be doing PC servers, and at 3 o'clock we're going to be doing console servers. They'll say something like that, so you know, all right, today's the day it's going to happen. But when it actually happens, it can be quite a lot different. So what we need to do is we need to go into our uh, servers and check the types of the XML. Because what happens on update day, um, say we go and have a look at this server, what, what happens is um, day Z on console, they'll push out the server update to Nitrado who run their consoles for them and they will then update the server but what they update is the daisy server.exe program so the program that runs it all gets updated to 121 but the all the files that go with it you know the xml files that say spawn a crossbow in for example they don't go with that all right they don't update that they wait they let you do that so the first thing you see is when we go to the, the, the dashboard and make sure you refresh the page when you go into it just to make sure is what we'll be looking for here is the version number here. So this is version 1.20. So I'm pretty damn sure I haven't got the latest um, update or the files. Now when it says V121, it means my serv uh, daisy server.exe that runs the whole thing will be updated, but my xml's and json's probably won't and the way that you can double check that is if you go into your file browser and then go into your server file um your missions folder sorry it'd be ps missions for playstation xp missions for xbox just missions for pc if you go into here and then we go into churnerus and then we go into the db directory or the db folder here and then we can either download or you can click on the types of the XML. This is quite a big file, so it can take a while to kind of appear in your browser. And then just click somewhere in here and then just do Control F to find. And we just want to look for crossbow. And it's saying, if you look where it says zero of zero, so there are no crossbows on the in this file. So we know we haven't got the one two one update. Now, a server that would have been done. Let me show you what would have been done. So this is my test server that I've got some of the uh, experimental files on. So I go into the file browser here, and this is a PC server. So I go into here, and then I go all the way down to my missions folder, which is here, and then I go into Chernerus, and then I go into DB, then I click on type.xml, Wait for it to load because it takes a while. Click inside the box, Control F. So if I look for crossbow now, you'll see we've got one of four. And there you can see the crossbow autumn. So I know I've got the latest files on this server. Okay, chances are that you won't have them though. So let's go back to our Nitrado server. So our Nitrado server, so okay, so we haven't got the files. So let's just go back to the uh, dashboard again. And we scroll down. So let's imagine now we waited a little bit and there's been an update and we now see version 1.21 appear here. You could go into the file browser again and check if you wanted to, but you probably won't have the crossbow files yet. So what we need to do now is, is update our XMLs and our JSONs. And the way we do that is we go to settings general. This is only for console, unfortunately. This doesn't work for PC. And you scroll down and you'll see a setting here. This is the This is the really important one reset mission xml to default so what this is going to do this is going to take all of the xml's and json's that are on your server and change them to the latest update one through one ones but remember when it does that if you've got any edited json's edited xml's they're all going to be gone 
it's going to overwrite them with these new ones so now is the time if you haven't done it already to download or back up your edited files so you can keep to one side keep them to one side so using whatever method you use to update them to one two one you can do that in your own time but what you can do by doing what we're going to do next um, that's going to make sure that you've got the latest stuff spawning in on your server um, because remember what happens is with a daisy server when you spawn stuff in say you've got a boosted loot server for example and you've got more guns spawning in and that's the way you want it which is which is great um, and then it comes to update day and you're like oh I'm not ready to go yet I'm not ready to go but my players on my server they want the latest thing they want to be looking for the crossbows by applying the by backing up our files so downloading our modded files and keeping them safe on our local computer and then resetting the mission XML to default so it just goes to the vanilla files which won't be boosted but will include things like the crossbows those crossbows will then start spawning in in the historical locations which is you know the castles and the castle ruins but that doesn't mean all your other stuff is going to start disappearing straight away it will hang around for a number of days as it waits to despawn and that will then give you time to edit your uh, existing xmls and jsons to include the latest uh, 121 stuff however you decide to do that to re-upload those over the top and start again so it kind of bridges that gap, all right? But do bear in mind, as I say, is when you re reset mission XML to default, it will overwrite your existing files. Uh, it doesn't blank anybody off, though. We're not wiping the server. We're not going to get rid of anybody's progression or anybody's bases or anything like that. So what you do is you tick that, and you click Save Changes, and then you restart the server. The server will restart, and then it will put the latest files on. When it's done, gone through the uh, restart process, you then untick that, save changes, and I would probably click restart again. And at that point, what you want to then do is, is wait a little bit as well. At that point, go into the file browser, go into your types again, and again, this is again when you would then search for the crossbow and see if it appears. If the crossbow then appears, you know you're good to go, um, and you've got the latest files. Happy days, you're you're players on your server can then look for uh, look for the new stuff now don't worry too much if all this doesn't happen straight away because update day can be um it can drag on a little bit and lots of different things can happen so if it gets delayed a bit you know don't, don't sweat it just just hang on keep checking the, the front of your um uh, your dashboard just to see if it's updated to 1.21 there and then go in check your files right okay so they're definitely not latest right let's reset mission xmls to default if you're if you do reset your mission xmls to default and it's you still don't get the crossbow wait a little bit and see because sometimes nitrado the way that the server browser works um online and even ftp it can be a little bit delayed sometimes with what's happening so don't worry about it go make yourself a cup of tea go and have some lunch come back go through the process again and then see if it updates and, and then go from there so it's all very easy um, and then you'll be good to go now on pc it, it's a little bit different because you don't have the option to reset xmls through default and what you do may well depend on the um, provider you're using for your server if for example you're using nitrado as your server provider if we go to uh, my um, general settings here and we scroll down we'll see there's no option to reset xmls to default so you know a bit, bit of a bummer there so the way that you have to do it on pc is you you've got to get the files yourself and then upload them again yourself over the top of the existing ones um and you there's a couple of ways you can do it you could do a reinstall uh, once 121 goes live so once you go into your dashboard and it says 121 is live you could do a reinstall obviously that's going to wipe everybody's progress um, so you might not want to do that um, I'll put links to this in the description below the video. You could go to Bohemia Interactive GitHub and download the files. So you get all of their mission files here. You get Christmas, you get Halloween, you get uh, Livonia, you, know, you get, get everything. You click on code, download it, and that will give you everything. However, before you go off and do that, this normally doesn't get updated until several days after the update has gone live. I guess because they're waiting to see if there's any errors and things like that. The best way to get the... Um, vanilla latest updates files uh, for PC is actually through Steam and what you do is you fire up your, your Steam um, app uh, go into your library make sure you've got games and tools 
uh, selected at the top and you want to install the daisy experimental server don't run it or anything just install it on your computer and then what will happen is on your computer probably under like c program files x86 steam steam match common wherever daisy is you'll find a daisy server experimental folder has appeared and if you go into here you'll see the missions and you, then you'll see daisy offline chernus and daisy offline enoch which is livonia you can go in there and you'll have all the latest 1.21 files um and that they're ready to go before the before the uh before the change taking takes effect now after one two one has gone live you could just get them off the ordinary daisy server so uh this one here that will then update and you can get them but that again that might not happen straight away if you want to get it before and get your serve uh, files ready it, it will be under daisy experimental um, now what you can do with the daisy experimental as well is once you you can actually look at the dates that everything changes and you can see which are the new files and which is uh, the aren't new files and basically what you would then do is you could then use your FTP program so filezilla for example or, or you could use the file browser on the website of your uh, server provider to upload those files over the top of the, the new ones and then reach the server but again Bear in mind that when you're uploading vanilla files over the top of existing ones, if your existing ones are edited, modded at XMLs or JSONs, they're going to go back to vanilla. So make sure you back up your mods first um, so that you can then prepare those files with the new 1.21 elements that you want so you can re-upload them and restart them. Okay, so hopefully that's been clear. Um, one day it would be really nice if we could maybe work with Daisy and Nitrado to come up with uh, a, a better way of doing this on update, I think. Just to make it a little bit clearer, I think, in the instructions when you're in your server, you know, what you should be doing. But once you've done a couple of them, um, it all becomes kind of second nature. So there we go. Very excited about 121. Can't wait to run around with a crossbow and make bolts and go hunting and survive in the wilderness um, without having to use, uh, you know, a, a gun that goes bang. Um, and uh, it looks like we're going to have a very exciting year for Daisy with 2023. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Put your comments and questions down below, and I'll see you again soon.